Pakistan, United States and Saudi Arabia's alliance was active against Soviet Russia in Afghanistan. To end Russia's aerial superiority, USA made a no-launcher missile, for which human shoulders were enough. This was Stinger missile. Stinger forced Russia to go on the back fit. Stinger missiles were delivered to Afghanistan via Pakistan. In Zia regime, Stinger was stored in different places, one of which was Rawalpindi's Otri camp. One of which was Rawalpindi's Otri camp. Mujahideen started striking Russian helicopters very easily, the Russian army's morale had already fallen in the eight years long war. Pakistan's superb intelligence, Mujahideen's violent attacks, US and Saudi Arabia's economic support and then Stinger missile, forced Soviet Russia to retreat. The Stinger proved fatal, not only for Soviet Russia, but created havoc, also in Pakistan. The camp where Stinger was stored in Pakistan, Odri, exploded on April 10, 1988. April 10 was not less than a hell for the people of Rawalpindi, exploding missiles, Fiery Sky was portraying a bloody war scene. When exploding fire stopped, 103 people were dead in Rawalpindi. Among casualties, father of former Prime Minister Shahid Kokon Abbas, was included when financial and human cost of war became unbearable, Soviet Russia decided to leave Pakistan. In April 1988, a Geneva Accord between Pakistan, Afghanistan, Russia and the United States was signed. It was decided in this accord that Pakistan and Afghanistan will not interfere with each other. Refugees will be sent back to Afghanistan and the Russian army will leave Afghanistan until February 1989. Russia left Afghanistan according to the provision of Geneva Accord. But before the complete withdrawal of Russian forces, Zia Ul Haq's time came. It is said that Zia Ul Haq has been alerted by the agencies that there is planning to kill him. The last few months before his death, he practically locked himself in Army House Rawalpindi. Three days before his death, 14 Teach August celebrations were held in the Army House on his orders he was so scared that he ordered to cut 40 trees of Army House, declaring there was security risk. Only three days later, he went to Bahawalpur to see the tanks exercises. American ambassador and American military attach also accompanied him in his C-130. Vice Army Chief General Aslam Beg were also there. But since he came in separate aircraft, he was not with Zia Ul Haq. General Zia's plane crashed in Lal Kamal, near Bahawalpur, shortly after plane flew. American ambassador and military attach were killed in this incident. But strangely US never shown interest in knowing facts about this tragedy. That's the reason lot of people consider American conspiracy behind Zia's murder. General Zia was liked by religious circles due to Afghan jihad and Islamic laws. However, during Afghan war, drugs, Kalashnikov culture and terrorism also came in Pakistan with refugees. Zia Ul Haq is criticized on this ground, even now. Zia Ul Haq ruled Pakistan for 11 years but never bagged any wealth for himself or for his family. But this is also a fact that his many major decisions produced consequences which Pakistan is still facing. How ridiculous it is that same Arabian Sea hot waters, for which Russia fought for 10 years point 30 years later, were accessed peacefully by CPEC and it happened so quickly that Afghan Mujahideen who took part in jihad were still young. Zia Ul Haq's eventful era ended. But what happened at Sain Bato, whom Zia Ul Haq buried seven years earlier, was standing upright at Mazar-e Pakistan. How, why and who came forward with the slogan, Jag Punjabi Jag, first time in history of Pakistan. Ben Azabato and Nawaz Sharif said campaigns in 88 elections that will shock you. Watch all this in next episode.